Hi, I am Sivam Krish. I will explain in this video how to download and install Geneform and how to run it with SOLIDWORKS. So first you go to this site which is www.genoform.com Okay, then you go to software, then you go to download and you can download the software from this page which is this and you get this file you click OK it's downloading it for you OK then you click this we've also included some model files there as you can see alright so installation can now start that's your standard directory there and you just install it okay we are ready to go alright so the first thing that we need to do is open up SOLIDWORKS and create a model in, in SOLIDWORKS so let's do that let's create a simple this so file new we need to create a part file so let's create a simple this okay and let me create a spline one point two points maybe three points okay let me add a base all right we are now ready to create right, let's spin this across so uh, let's keep that as line one let's make it a thin feature and let's select this contour and let's make it 1 mm thick thing and we've got a vase all right let's now go and dimension these things because Geneform essentially plays with the dimensions or creates variations with the dimensions so let's dimension these things so it's these dimensions that will later be varied by Geneform and there we go all right now the important thing is we got to now save this file let's save it as part one what now Geneform is now installed the next step is very easy we just need to run Geneform that's Geneform all right we just click generate as you can see it's generating designs you can see this is your creativity level you can increase the creativity if you want very conservative designs you can reduce it and you can see now the designs will be very similar to the original design now if you want it wilder you can do that you can see now the creative range is increased right now if you want to make it completely wild you can go do that You can also see that designs are crashing so when the designs get completely wild uh, they get crashed they can crash so you really don't want to do that right so let's set it back to a decent amount now what you see here is these designs being generated these are the the sketch parameter values that we set and in SOLIDWORKS we have filters and we have an additional filter which is a geometric filter now because SOLIDWORKS is a geometric kernel it can actually detect whether the geometry has failed or not you can see uh, design 16 has failed you can see the geometry has been ticked off so these have actually failed to pass through they failed to build you saw those blank um, designs and so okay the filters are essentially a series of things that are put in there like um, 
for example surface area volume mass and stuff like that and you can also uh, at this point you can also put in a like dislike so if you don't like a design you can say I don't like this design say you don't like it so these things are then used here to to filter designs because one of the things you can you know you can create hundreds of designs so you really want to be able to filter these values so for example we can also filter these values based on you know a surface area you can go and change any of these you know you can set the minimum and maximum filter values um, say for example we set a 65 percent filter value. you can see as we change these values these these values here change right so you're setting the upper and bottom limit and when you click filter you can see that you know certain things get ticked off right now these things get ticked off based on you filter them and finally the ones that pass are the ones that essentially pass uh, all those filters this is the way you filter the designs so you can filter the designs currently based on surface area volume or mass this is a way of exploring your designs you can now go back and see what you like what you don't like you can also choose the ones that you know if you just want to look at things that pass through the filter you can click that on you can also save your designs either in an excel format or an open xml format that's all there is to Jennifer. it's very easy to use thank you for watching